Hello again, everyone. Today, we are going to start a series where I show everybody how to set up a Red Hat satellite infrastructure for patching your Red Hat Linux servers. There's a couple of prerequisites, of course. The one thing we need to have first is a DNS server that does forward and reverse lookups. So since I do not have that currently in my environment, the first step we're going to do is build a DNS server, and we're going to use Pi-hole for that. To use Pi-hole, um, I have elected to use Fedora 36, so Fedora Server 36. And so this first video is going to be on installing Fedora Server 36, getting that configured, and then we'll continue on with installing Pi-hole in the next video, and then installing Satellite, and then finally configuring satellite. So let's begin first. We're using uh, RHEL 9 with KVM running for our virtual environment. So what we're going to do first is create a new VM. We'll hit this and we're going to give it a name of Pi-hole. We're going to say local installed media because we have the ISO already and give it the path. And we're going to use this ISO for Fedora Server 36. It detects that it's Fedora Linux 36. We're going to create a new volume. We will say 50 gigabytes and give it four gigabytes of memory. We're going to hit create and edit. So we're going to make one change to the networking interface first. We're going to go in here and hit edit, change it to bridge to land, and set it to virtual bridge zero. We'll hit save, we'll go back up to the top, and tell it to begin the installation. So we're going to say install Fedora 36. And we're going to expand this. Now we're going to choose the language we're going to use. So um, we're going to use English and English United States. Hit continue. We'll select our installation, which is we're just going to pick automatic for this. Validate our software, Fedora Server Edition. We'll throw in some headless management. And a guest agent. Why not? Hit done. Going to make a change to the network interface. We're going to hit configure. So we don't want to use. DHCP with a DNS server. So we'll switch this to manual. We'll add twenty four net mask gateway. We'll use Google for now for its domain um, DNS server. in our search domain. Save. We'll give it its name. And we're all set here. So we'll hit done. Time zone is correct. Create our root account. We're going to enable it. and allow root SSH with the password. We're not going to create a user at the moment and we're just going to hit begin installation. Now this process, um, as you know, um, can take a little bit of time so I will speed up the recording so that we don't have to sit through the installation process and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, let's reboot the system. And 
All right, now let's switch over to our terminal and try logging on. And we're gonna say yes, put in the root password. And we're connected to our new PyHole Fedora 36 server. Everything looks good. So that's going to conclude this video showing us how to get Fedora up and running. The next video I will demonstrate how to install PyHole and get that configured. After that, we can move on to installing and configuring Red Hat Satellite. So until next time, have a great day. Bye, everyone.